Hello everyone, this is the third part of a banking awareness video and in this video we will be discussing about the two main topics that is SWIFT and CBS. So before proceeding, if you haven't subscribed our channel, please subscribe to it. So let's go to the topic that is CBS. Okay, uh, RBI has asked bank to integrate uh, CBS with the, the SWIFT banking system by the end of April 2018. That is by end of April 2018, uh, CBS has to be linked with SWIFT. Now we will be discussing what is this two terms that is CBS and SWIFT. Okay, like here it is mentioned, uh, CBS is core banking system. Okay, it refers to core banking system. Now what is this core banking system? The term core in the core banking system means centralized online real-time exchange now what is the centralized on online uh, real-time exchange that is CBS is where all the branches are interconnected to ensure that the bank customers regardless of their home branch are able to operate their account and transact in any of the member branch located anywhere in the world so that is if we have an account in Oriental Bank of Commerce in uh, in S1 branch okay so you can operate this account in S2 branch okay uh, of Oriental Bank of Commerce from anywhere in the world that is the main aim of the core banking system okay next move on CBS is refers to the software applications it is a software application and what does the software application do software application for recording transactions storing customer information calculating interests and completing the process of passing entries in the single database that is the database is single that is if a change is ma made in branch 1 that change should propagate to branch 2 of a bank okay CBS enables accessing of complete customer account details centrally that is what I said that everything is centralized that is changes made in any branch would propagate to another branches it is centrally it makes it possible for a bank customer to access his bank account through whichever channel he prefers like that is you can use your uh, account through internet banking through mobile banking through ATM or uh, you can use it your account through this anything okay this is also a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, medium for accessing your account so these all things you can access your account through whichever channel you prefer so this is this is what CBS let's see some of uh, the facts about CBS that is CBS in India CBS in India that is the initiative was taken on the basis of first Ranganathan committee report it is important you have to remember this on bank computerization submitted in the year 1984 so you have to only remember the uh, name of the committee that is first Ranganathan Ranganathan uh, committee report okay the committee was constituted under the chairmanship of Dr. Ranganajan and Dr. C. Rangarajan and at that time, at 1984, in the year 1984, he was the governor, deputy governor of RBI. Okay, and this is a note, Syndicate Bank was the first among the public sector banks to implement the core banking system and the first branch of Syndicate Bank was Dan the Jayanagar branch in Bangalore. So it is a general knowledge question so you have to remember this also. Next, uh, the benefits of CBS that is what are the benefits of core banking system we would divide the benefits in two parts that is for the customers and for the banks. So first we would be talking about the customers through CBS as we know you can access your account from any channel that is through net banking through ATM anything so that is one profit for the customer second through CBS a bank customer can avail banking facilities 24 7 that is all time all time so that is the case of ATM or net banking so you can access your account all time okay next is it is time saving yes you don't have to visit the branch you can do anything uh, from your system only it is convenient and it is efficient okay and multi it is accessible to multiple channels as I told including mobile banking web and ATMs redefining a concept of anywhere anytime 
banking that is you can do banking from your home also through using your mobile phones also this is what the benefits of central banking system for the customers now even the bank has some benefits for it what were the benefits for the bank okay for the bank it has revolutionized the speed efficiency and the reach of delivery system okay it gives greater customer satisfaction since it offers alternative channels than brick and mortar banking it is the viable alternative to opening new branches so new branches can be uh, opened easily which reduces the operational cost okay alternative for extending working hours okay instead of extending the working hours you can if you can access your bank through net so it would be easy for the customers also and it would be beneficial for the bank employees also so it would decrease the burden on the employees of the bank errors due to multiple entries are eradicated because everything is centralized so multiple entries would uh, would be not there reduces long queues in bank cash counter because earlier when there was no cbs so everything was through bank only you have to visit the bank for everything but when there is cbs you can do things at your home or using your net banking or you can uh, withdraw your money using a cash you can submit money using cash so there would be uh, no long queues it reduces long queues in bank cash counters so this was all about cbs now let's move on to swift now what is swift okay what is swift let's see what is swift swift refers to the society it is a full form that is society for worldwide interbanking financial telecommunication this is the full form of swift you have to remember it by heart it is very important okay now what is swift it provides a network swift provides a network that enables financial institutions now what are the financial institutions it include banks and nbfcs all chit funds all it includes financial institutions worldwide it is swift is for worldwide financial institution to send and receive information to send and receive information about financial transaction in a secure standardized and reliable environment so it is uh, the worldwide financial institution uh, in banks the banks in one country and bank in another country they can send and say the information about the financial tra uh, transaction which has taken place in, uh, in the customers okay that is what swift is uh, let's proceed it also sells software and services to financial institutions uh, okay much of it used on swift network iso 191 sorry iso 9362 you have to remember this also and the business identifier code previously the bank identifier code so what are the uh, swift code swift codes are the business identifier code or the bank identifier code you can identify which bank uh, the transaction has taken place now swift assigns each financial organization a unique code suppose you have a bank 1 a unique code would be assigned to bank 1 and bank 2 unique code would be assigned to both the banks that are either 8 characters or 11 characters and the swift code what is the swift code it can be either 8 or 11 characters okay the code is the code is interchangeably the bank identifier code and now what is the swift code it is equivalent to bank identifier code okay or it is also called swift id or it is called iso 9362 code here iso 9362 code okay it can be of 8 characters or 11 characters you have to remember this also of 8 or 11 characters Okay, Swift messages are programmed in a language known as Fin. It is a programming language, and Swift messages are programmed in a language which is known as Fin. Um, let's more or more about Swift. When an L O U, it is like the letter of understanding. L O U is letter of understanding, and what is L O U? L O U is the assurance given by one bank. Suppose you have two banks, assurance given by one bank to another. to meet the liability on behalf of customer okay it is assurance given by one bank to another to meet the liability of on behalf of the customer okay now what how swift shift works when a lo is issued the message of credit is transferred to the uh, to the convey to the overseas bank through the swift system okay when a lo is used when a letter of understanding is used the matter or the message of credit transfer is conveyed to the overseas bank through swift this is a information significant information as it gives the bank consent and guarantee 
okay suppose if one bank if there is a customer in bank 1 and same customer is in bank 2 okay and uh, this in uh, this customer is in india suppose this bank the branch is in india and it is somewhere in outside india it is somewhere outside india okay uh, it is customer one only suppose customer one wants to transfer some money from bank one to bank two then that then a lou would be issued by bank one what does this uh, mean that is uh, it is according to this LOU, this bank has given the consent and guarantee that the money has been transferred with its with the bank's consent only. So this is what the SWIFT system is. Okay, to issue SWIFT, an official has to log in and fill up the confidential confidential information such as the account number and the SWIFT code. So two things are needed: account number and the SWIFT code. In generally, the SWIFT has, it is just generally, it generally has three layers of security, a maker, a checker, and a verifier within the core banking system, within the core banking system before it is issued. So before issuing a LOU, it passes through three layers of security. security. So this is how the SWIFT works. So this was all about SWIFT and CBS. Uh, if you have, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and kindly visit our website that is www.looklonely.com. Thank you.